These Studio Series Bumblebee figures have all been a treat so far, but this RC is something else. RC is one of my absolute favorite Transformer characters. They're right up there with Ratchet and Ultra Magnus as being my favorite Autobot. Um, the one issue I have with RC is, unfortunately, a lot of her figures don't turn out that well, seemingly due to a inability to move past a cartoon design that was never meant to physically exist. Um, so it always makes me feel very happy when there's RCs that come out that don't only work very well as figures, but also transform in a very fun way. It's why I love the Mastermind Creations Azela. It's why I love the Cyberverse RC. It's why I like the Thrilling 30 RC. And I can honestly say Studio Series RC, this one that we have in front of us, might be the cream of the crop, at least from the official standpoint. From the Studio Series, this is Bumblebee Movie RC, specifically RC during that opening scene on Cybertron where she had the one line, I've lost contact with the Capitol, and then I think she appeared in the background a few more times in that scene. Look, there, there's a lot of really good designs that have need to be like converted to figures. I'm not going to begrudge RC for not having that much of a role in the movie because the movie was spectacular, and I'm just happy that they were in it at all. Taking a closer look, and I think they captured the look of this CG model for RC very well. Uh, the head sculpt I've seen a few people complain about, but it looks exactly like how she did in the movie. And I do like the movie's aesthetic of basically doing almost like a bit more of a realistic look as Prime did, trying to make these guys look as alien as possible. Um, I also just like a lot of the technical detail throughout the figure. My one issue is that her heel spurs are also wheels, which can make it kind of hard for her to stand up straight, yet she does very well in action poses. Go figure. Also, these uh, wings on her backpack can fold out and uh, be used on ball joints to do whatever you'd like. So if you want a more kind of flared out RC or an RC that looks like she has wings, that is an option, though I tend to just keep it folded back, a little bit more accurate to the movie. The transformation is a bit finicky for my taste, but it does get you this really cool motorcycle mode. Uh, personally, I'm a massive fan of Cybertronian modes. It's one of my absolute favorite things to see out of Transformers, so this hits a lot of great aesthetic notes for me. So you look at the vehicle mode from front on, and it looks spectacular. I really love this motorcycle mode, but then when you get to the back, yeah, things start to fall apart. Those are just RC's hands, and that's RC's chest. It doesn't transform that much because of how it has to transform for the legs. Um, but here's the thing. Cybertronian modes, I'm always willing to excuse stuff like this, mostly because on Cybertron, they're not disguised. They just need to go faster. So, this mode. Overall, it's solid, 